this video, we'll be using the mask feature. Now this one right here is the icon that will activate the mask. First, let's choose a few patterns that we'll use as a mask. You need to use a pattern that is a closed pattern. For instance, this one here is not a good pattern because it's open from here. So it can't become a mask. And when you think about a mask, think of a cookie cutter. It has to have a closed shape that will cut out uh, like a cookie from the pattern that you want to alter. So that one's not a good one. This heart would be a good one. Also, something with something inside like this. Uh, let me select it and show it to you. This would be a good pattern because it's closed. Even though it has designs inside it, it still will work well. So you first adjust the size of the pattern you want to mask, make them bigger or smaller or whatever it is you're after. Um, we also have text that we can use. So I'm going to add some text here. I'm going to make my font a little bit smaller and I can mask out some text. I'm going to Selenova and say create text. Now you can see it right down in here. When I zoom in, I can select it. Still may be a little bit large for what I'm after, but it fits in the sew zone, so I'm gonna do it. So now I'm going to go into the mask dialog. Now instructions are right here under this question mark. The first thing I need to do is select the pattern that is going to be the mask or be the cut cookie cutter. So Innova is selected and it's dark green and I'm going to say build. You can see that it cuts out uh, around it and turns blue. Now I'm not quite finished with that because the O and the A should be cut um, in that area here. So I click on the, the mask, I, I click on the one I want to edit and then I say edit and it will turn green. Now I'm gonna come in here and when I click, it will clean up that area. You can see that little blue triangle. It'll, it's showing me what will be cut away. Sometimes, like this pattern, you don't get quite as close as you wish that it was. And I can click there and it will clean that up. Now that's um, a little pickier than necessary, but it depends on how exact you need to be. Over here in the O, I'm gonna pan over and click here and the whole center of the O is going to disappear. And now I have my Innova as my mask. I'm gonna say done and it turns the purple color again. Now it needs to be red to be used as a mask. So I will select it again. Once it's red, that means it's a mask and what I need to do is choose these options here. Do I want to mask the inside of these letters so there will be no stitching on the inside or do I want to mask the outside so I have stitching only inside the letters and nothing on the outside? There may be times where you want to use both of those features. Now continuous sew, this time I'm going to mask inside. Continuous sew means that it will travel from if you imagine this as clipping those patterns so that they're clipped out, it's going to travel to the next starting point if I have continuous sew. And then when it's all finished, it will come back and sew around the outline of the mask, which is Innova. So I have that uh, checked as well. Now what I need to do is select the pattern that I want to alter. So I'm altering it with the red mask and the pattern I want to alter is this row behind Innova. Now I also, this falls over two rows, I also want to alter this one. So I'll do that first. You have to do them separately. So I will click that and say accept. Now you'll see in this portion right up here of this pattern that I selected, there are no 
bubbles inside the letters. But now I need to do the other one. Now, I've learned this by uh, doing it a few times. The second time, I do not want to sew the masked outline because if I do, it will get sewn over twice because I've used it as a mask once and now I'm using it as a mask the second time. So I'm not going to sew the mask outline in this case because it's already been sewn. I've clicked the pattern that I want to alter and it's dark green and I'm going to say accept. And now you'll see all inside those letters, both the top row and the bottom row of bubbles has been altered. So now just to show you what it's like if you mask the inside of a pattern, once again, I make sure that the mask or the cookie cutter is selected. I click build. It turns blue. I need to click it to turn it red. It won't work as a mask if it's not activated in red. Now this time I'm going to apply mask to the inside or outside. I'm going to mask the outside of the pattern. Now I need to click the pattern that I want to alter with my mask. So that's this one. Once it's dark green and my mask is red, I click accept. And you'll see all the stitching outside disappears and the stitching inside remains. Mask is so easy to use once you know the order in which to click the buttons. Have fun masking things out.